my garage. A bit weird, isn't it? Normally in my hallway. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> now, I haven't done anything to Miss Jenkins for ages because I've had this chest infection for about five weeks and then I had a bladder infection for another week. So yeah, I'm not had a good month. So I haven't done anything to Mr. Jenkins, but I'm feeling good today. So I'm going to roll him out and try and get this offside rear wing off. Mr. Jenkins does still start and drive, but I'm just going to push him forward a little bit just so I can get down the back. Well, same as the front wing, we're going to start by taking the light unit out because the light unit on this is very good. There's only oh, two little pitting marks on it, which is great. So I'm going to get this off first, wrap it up, keep it safe. light screws are shorter than the front one for some reason at least they are on my car anyway that's the front one and that's the back one on the floor <laughs> Ta -da! I, I don't know why you need to know that there you go might help you in the future so out they come I read an article in a magazine once and it said, oh, the design of the rear light lenses are good because if you need to change one bulb, you don't have to take the whole thing off. Well, that's not true because if your brake light goes, you've got to take both of these off to get to the bulb. Oh, that's right. It's not damaged. I've only got about a hundred of those anyway. <laughs> I've got so many lenses. The lenses that I'm short on actually is these um, reverse light lenses for some reason. I don't know why. Come on. Maybe this is why. Because they get stuck. There she is. We got it lenses and the bulbs they can come out the old seal I've got new seals to go in not that they ever blooming work anyway the reverse light's always got water in it uh, I'll keep it then put it in your little box so oh Yes, we have some rather rusty screws holding this in. Let's see if they come undone. Ooh! What you doing? Bro. There's only three holding this on. held in by rust <laughs> cool it is held in there <laughs> made me jump right that's that now we need to get in the boot budge up get in the boot amongst all this. Oh! I don't... I don't remember putting those in there. I think these are different ones. I think this is another set of um, inner wing splash guards. But I didn't know I had. It's quite cool. 
Now behind my monstrosity boot liner, which is just glued on, is the wiring for the backlight, which is a load of bullets. Can you even see? There you go, you might be able to see now. So the wires for the backlight are coming through this grommet. Now they're all colour coded, but have a look in case any have been changed over the years. So they all match. Apart from this one, it says it's green and white in the loom, but the actual wire we've got here, which is so it's got a dodgy repair on it. Um, that's green. Right. Take the wires out and the earth is just a bullet connector in there. There we are. <coughs> Excuse me. I can't remember what that wire's for. It might be reverse light? Not reverse light, um number plate light, I'm not sure. Now these here, I'm going to put a cable tie around those, preferably a purple one, because it is Mr Jenkins, uh, purple cable tie, oops sorry, <coughs> there we are, because when it comes to refitting the light unit, it's easier to thread through this one tail of a cable tie into that bunghole and pull all this lot through rather than trying to thread each individual wiring. So you can use a cable tie or a bit of tape. I, I found cable tie works well. <coughs> so this light unit now will come out. All as one. She says. Come on you. Now, of course, the thing I didn't think through, I was jumping too far ahead because I forgot we, we're taking this wing off. Ooh. So, <laughs> he needs to get the cable tie off again. So, yes, okay to pull the wires through singly, but when you go to fit the light unit back in, well, we can go through that when it comes to it, but. I would recommend once you've got the wires through, put a cable tie around them so you can thread them back into the car easily because it's a bit tight in here. It's really hard to get your, your sort of hand up in there. You know, it's in a really narrow spot. Wow, I mean that's all you've got to take off on the back wing. There's no mirror. Um, we just got to find all the bolts that are holding it on. But before we do that, we'll do what we did with the front wing. Let's get the hammer out. Right, let's see how bad this corner is. I have no idea. It looks rather crusty. In fact, I might just open the boot a little bit. Because I don't want to damage the boot. Because that's the only good bit on the car. So we've got a corner there. Ooh. Oh, it's more solid than I thought. Is 
Is this a piece of my car? Hmm. Well, there we are. That's that corner. I think. Is there more? faster now look how shiny my rust is you can see my face I don't know where what's hiding under here it might just be surface rust uh -uh. Uh -uh. there's a hole see my face now can you mm. and this piece here I've been waiting for that to fall off for ages didn't take much to do it look at that I could sell that as a repair panel couldn't I in fact stick that back on and away we go Oh, look at it, it's all full of filler. The only uh, upsetting thing is, is that I think some of this here is actually my car, not the wheel. Full of filler, that wheel arch. Hmm. And then uh, if you come up with me, we can have a look at this bit now. Common P6 place to rot up here. Wow. Don't need to unbolt this wing. Just take it off. full of filler. Oh, it's locked. I'm going to say, don't want to damage my back door. It's still got life left in it. Ah, oh, look at that. Thick. Thick with filler. on this it's all filler oh there it goes let me get it mm. look at that <laughs> that's bad isn't it mm? that piece there I'm not sure if that's filler or oh it is some kind of sealant gross Wow. Can you see it? That's bad, isn't it? Oh, look, there's another bit here. Gotta be careful because this balance here is okay. Yep, 
as a whole. Right, let's get this wing off. This wing's pretty much falling off, so um, it's not going to take much. I was going to undo the first nut and bolt. No need to. I'll show you. And here we are, under the car. So, balance, crusty, crustier than I thought. This is all going to have to be replaced, this balance. I have got one somewhere, hanging off the ceiling. Um, yeah. That's meant to be held together with a nut and bolt. But, not, uh, not going to worry about undoing that one. No, more bits to hit the hammer. It's just surface rust. Just. Now this bit you can sit down to do because you probably need to sit down after you find what you find. <clears throat> I've opened the back door. I'm sat down. So in here, the rubber's sort of fallen off as well. Um, under here, we've got one there. Hope you can see okay. A bit dark. And one a bit further down here. Now all we've got to do, I say all we've got to do now, this is a rusty car, so I found the rustiest spanner I could find. Should be half inch. <clears throat> ah. Oh dear, yeah. All we've got to do, all, is loosen these. We don't have to take them all the way off. We've just got to loosen them enough so this wing will slide off of it. Come on. Ah. Oh, she's moving. Oh, it sounds crunchy. <clears throat> oh, I wish I'd get rid of this frog in my, frog in my throat. Oh. Well, it is coming undone, so that's good. I say it doesn't have to come out all the way. It's a few turns. Alright, let's uh, try this bottom one. Oh, she's moving. Now again, behind this liner, there is a pesky nut. And I think this wing is about to fall off. Okay, let's see if this wing's going to fall off. I might have to just unhook this valance. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Ah! Gross! The wing is out in daylight with its other friend. So you can see the real extent of the rot. Gross. So it's such a shame because it's so lovely and shiny. <laughs> if we look inside, you can see that they rot under this blimmin' insulation pad that rover feed. Look at it. It's all rotten under there. It's a shame. And then the rocks obviously the mud's got trapped in that corner down there. And then mud gets trapped up here, hence all that rot. So you can see why they rot. Nice. Now the bit that is probably going to make me cry. Assessing the inner wing rot. I've already seen a piece that's concerning. I don't know what's going on with that. Let's put 
some light on it. Let's hold that. What is this? What? What is that? And what was it? And how? Why? What? What is? I don't even know. Wow. Um. Yeah. Nice. What is that? Where does that go? Mm. I don't know. I think that's inside the C post. Mm. Mm. Oh. Yeah, not good. Not good at all. Mm. I think we're gonna have to hit that with a hammer, aren't we? Alright. I don't wanna do this, but. I can hear like my whole car just falling off. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> and this splash seal, look at this. It's not even doing anything anymore. Wow, even the runner for it is just disintegrating. more solid than I had imagined. Oh, there is a hole there. I don't know where that goes either. I can see some zircon blue coming through there. Hmm. Not fun. Mm. Look at that immaculate zircon blue piece there, there. It's the best bit I've seen. <sighs> this is this is not good. Well, good news is that all this panel is okay. <laughs> and uh, I just remembered there should have been like a nut and bolt going through here for the rear wing as well, but it wasn't on mine. And this does look like it goes off to the number plate lamp on the bumper. Yeah, this uh, this rubber seal is gonna have to be replaced or something. It's absolutely had it. Mm. Um, whoopsie! I think that bit's gonna need a repair. <laughs> I know all this needs doing as well. I don't know if you watched the video where I tried to do an at-home MOT on this car and I ended up finding up finding lots of little holes. Well, I'm looking at all these little holes now because I don't know if you remember, I just put some tape over them until I could get them repaired. I'm looking at these little holes now and they just seem like nothing compared to this other rot that I found. I'm feeling a little bit disheartened. I, I really don't know if I should go ahead and repair this, it's so bad. I'm just not sure what to do. I'll show you again the uh, extent of the rot I found. So new rot, I don't know what's going on there, I haven't poked that enough. A couple of holes here, not too bad. Cause you can get, you can get behind those. Oh, behind one of them can't get behind that one uh, this is horrific absolutely horrific sorry I'm trying to get the light in there 
Look at it. That is awful. Awkward to repair as well. And then we've got this here. The hole there. And then this whole bottom piece here is just disintegrated. It's going to need repairing. And then I'm fully aware that the D post here is rotting, 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 and rotting up here. There might be something going on here as well. So it's. Uh, it's not good, not good at all. And here is the little holes that I painted in red oxide, which I say seem like nothing now. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of P6 on the floor. P6 was rusty and I hoped and prayed that it was just the outer panels but this I've only done two wings the front one wasn't that bad but this back inner wing was really bad um, just sent a video to three of my friends to see what they think and you can tell me what you think in the comments but I can't help think that this might be for the best if I just um give up I don't want to but I'll see what my friends say but I'm here wire brushing and um <laughs> it's awful it's like um I don't want to say what it's like, but it's like taking your pet to the vet and being told bad news. <laughs> and you've got to make that decision. <laughs> well, I know it's only a lump of metal, but to me, it's not just a lump of metal. I've had this car for quite a while now. <laughs> we've won prizes. We've been on holiday many times to the Isle of Wight we've been to London loads of times and um, I'd really hate to see this car go because I love it to bits and you could say well you could just get another P6 but I just don't think it'll be the same We'll see. I won't jump to conclusions. See what the doctors say. <laughs> I'm going to go in now because I'm just getting upset. I'm going to have a shower. Thanks for watching. I'll keep you updated. Bye.